Hi everybody, Nadza here and today we are gonna take a look at a formula in Notion that automatically detects overdue tasks among your list of things to accomplish. Um, if you take a look here at my home page in Notion, you will see that I have two tasks showing those clocks icons. Um, this is telling me I didn't complete those tasks during the planet time and so they have absolute priority over the other tasks I planned for today. If we scroll down and take a look to the calendar view of the same tasks, um, you will see that I have two planned activities for today um, and other two that were scheduled for yesterday. If I move one of those to the today date, like this one, um, you will see that now only the test uh, fab, uh, prefabricator the, um, task is uh, overdue. So this is done uh, with a, a quick formula in Notion. Let's see how it works and then uh, how to combine it with the impact and effort workflow by Marie Poulin and uh, all of these after the break. I have duplicated and cleaned up my tasks database in order to show you how to create this overdue system. As you can see here, we have the, the name, the due date, a rough estimate of time it will take to complete the different tasks and finally the impact and effort columns. Let's add the overdue column and set it to formula. Now let's dive in directly in the formula and compiling it we will then discover how it works. So, we will start with the smaller uh, operator that, as you can see here, it says it will return true if the first argument is smaller than the second. So, let's add this here and then we need the date add function. And this function allows us to um, add, of course, some kind of time, uh, years, quarters, months, weeks, and days, to a certain date. So we will use this together with our due date column here. So let's put the due date in place here. So the due date will be the first argument for the date add, so it will be this date here. Our second argument will be just the number 1. And our third argument will be the string days. And we will close this one. So what we have done here, we are saying that uh, we want to add to our due date one day. So right now we're adding just one day to the due date we are showing on this due date column. And this, all of this, is our first argument for the smaller operator. Our second, second argument for the smaller operator will be just the now argument function and this is the full formula so what it does this formula says that um, if our due date plus one day it's smaller to the actual date and time at this moment in time <laughs> um, this formula returns true. So 
doing this, as you can see, the only two uh, true tasks and true rows in here are the one that are scheduled for that were scheduled for yesterday. So if we change the date of this other task, and maybe this was due to the 14th of April, this becomes overdue to like the others two. So this again is the formula we use for the overdue system. And now let's see how we can use this to visualize our overdue tasks uh, together with the impact and effort um, system. So let's um, organize a bit the space here and um, oops yes um, let's bring out the priority metrics and the priority formula here from uh, Maripolin um, priority system I will not go in details about this I will link the her video in the description below if you are interested in uh, building a visual system for uh, tax priority it's really nice and really easy on the eyes and really interesting to use um, what we will do is to add our overdue system to this priority system here so um, right now this is um, sorry let's start from the priority matrix first so let me see um, here we have all the values that are um, that combined are giving me the this numeric matrix that then decides the um, priority of every single task <clears throat> we are gonna add to this our overdue property and we are going to do it right at the beginning of the formula because if not I I tested that it's not working properly so we are going here at the beginning of the formula and adding another if statement and adding our um, oops, sorry, our property will be the newly created overdue so we are gonna say that if the overdue it's just overdue so it's true we don't need to add some equals here because if the property is overdue so it's true um, we are gonna add a minus five value to the to these priority metrics um, in this scale um, the lower the number the higher the priority so um, putting minus five um, it's just um, gives me the certainty that uh, everything that is overdue is gonna show up uh, first than anything else so this is it we just need to add another parenthesis in order to have the exact number of parentheses and then we can click done here and as you, as you can see the three tasks that are overdue right now are showing the minus five priority matrix number so now what we need to do is just to add a visual clue uh, visual icons that tells us when the tasks are overdue and in order to do this 
um, we just have to jump here to the priority um, formula and add our custom icons. So in this case, we will jump straight to the end of the formula after the uh, the icon for the equal five priority metrics. And here we can add another if statement. So if the property overdue is equal to true or probably well let's let's go like this and then try maybe something cleaner but uh, so when overdue it's true we want these icons here so let's say clock and what I usually like to do is like adding uh, different clocks. I like to change the the time of these clocks. It looks like they are like actually counting the the time. So let's say we want this icon for the overdue system, and then. It should be okay. We just need to add another parenthesis and the system is working. As you can see, whenever we have uh, overdue tasks, we will see these icons show up and they will always be at the top of our today task list. Um, something cleaner that probably works anyway should be like this. Like we did before, we just don't need to say um, equal true because if property is overdue, it's, uh, it's true anyway. So we can write it cleaner in a cleaner way also like this. It works uh, anyway. And this is exactly what I use here in my um, main dashboard. So I have a filter that shows me here the tasks for only today and the days earlier, and only the tasks that are not completed. And uh, I sort them for priority metrics so that our minus five priority with the clocks and the overdue are shown um, before everything else. This was the overdue system for Notion. I hope you like the video and you find it useful for you. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, I will really appreciate it and I will really like to bring some more content about Notion together with uh, 3D art and Unreal Engine as usual. So thanks again for watching and um, see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,